Butch Reed when they were Doom. So I'll let you have the honors to let the fans know of their opportunities, which is going to be very slim uh, at Warriors of Wrestling and a very small pocket of time on Sunday in Allentown to get a photo op and signature combo together with Doom. Well, well, let me just say for the record, there will be no autograph ethics. It's going to be strictly for a photo op. Okay. Uh, if people want to get their sig- their signature picture, and I know oh, you, uh, we've printed out some Doom photos was to have, have to be signed, right. that is per signature as per uh, how you have it, how much you're charging for uh, Butch Reed, and how much am I charging for Ron Simmons. Right. And now, again... This is just strictly for a photo op, and this is separate from any individual photo op that you would want to take it with the talent. This is a photo op just for Butch Reed and Ron Simmons, just a photo op. Forty bucks. Right. Forty bucks gets you a photo op with Butch Reed and Ron Simmons as the tag team doom. That has nothing to do with individual autographs. Right. And photo ops. It is completely separate. Right. So if you come to the Damage 365 table and you purchase an 8x10 of Doom, um, Butch Reed will sign it for his price, um, which I think is $20. You can then take that photo over to RDP's table and you will have to pay Ron Simmons' price to have him sign it. And if which we, is $20 as well. Right. So basically, if you want. The two signatures and the photo op, if we make a combo, basically it's not going to be discounted. It's, it's going to cost you $40 for both signatures and $40 for the photo op. Um, obviously, you have to, you're, you're going to have to make two stops. But uh, it is possible, so if you want that opportunity, you got to get on it. Because it's one of those opportunities that doesn't happen often. Uh, Butch Reed goes to some shows. Simmons goes to some shows, but it's kind of rare that they're both at the same same show. So um, if you want this opportunity, take advantage of it while you have it, because you, you, you know how wrestlers work. You never know when you're going to have that opportunity again. Yep, 80 bucks will get you everything. Get you everything. You, you, might, you, might even, you might even get a wink from Richie. You might blow your kiss. No, that will not happen. <laughs> maybe, maybe a thumbs up. Maybe a thumbs maybe up. A thumbs you're up. Handing me money. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, after you get the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, after you get your money and get in, then you get your ticket. That's you know, <laughs> business before pleasure. Uh, so um, I, I got some fans who want to know um, when the RDP versus ESS grudge match uh, in the squared circle is going to happen. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Dude, I'll pay a hundred dollars to sit in front row. Look, let's False count anywhere. Let's, let's, you can get your eighty dollars right there. Count bro. Anywhere. False count anywhere. I, I, after that whole debacle, I'm I'm so over that. I I mean it's I moved on on he should move on on and that's that's how it should be. I, I will tell you this. I mean I have I, I will tell you this. He he would like the opportunity to sit down and work things out with you. Um, does you know? I'm not saying that he wants to. Either one of you should do business again together. But as far well, as the fact that a lot of times we're all going to be at same locations and sharing space. I I'll be cordial with him. Right. That's we have we have to have I'll the peace up. between all of us. No. Well, I'll have I'll give you his I'll give you peace. Peace and you come up to me and he apologizes for what the, the shit storm that he put me through who, from nearly getting kicked out of big events and back in November for, then I could could move you know could move forward and there's there would be no heat there right, well you, you, you gotta be like I said last time you gotta be the bigger man and let it go now you gotta be the bigger man and just walk up to him stick your hand out and say oh, I'm not walking up to him and, say, you know, and just me. say hey uh you want you want to talk real quick? You guys go for a walk, talk real quick, pat patch it out, agree to disagree, whatever it is, and then the Bolties move on, and then we'll have to find new things to make fun of you about. Well, you're still gonna make fun of me anyway. So well, well, of course, matter. especially when you keep posting really ridiculous videos of yourself dancing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she caught 
me in action while I was making pancakes. Hey, at least I make my fiance pancakes for breakfast. Can't say I don't do that. Oh, God. Yeah, well, I do, but I don't dance. <laughs> well, I could go into a whole different story, but I'm not. You know, I don't dance in the kitchen. That's strictly well, business. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't. I can't say nothing. I, I, I'm going to keep... I'm going to take the professional high road. Oh, now. he's taking the professional high road this time. <laughs> Look, he's a changed man already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Change is just sitting there shaking his head. <laughs> uh, so okay. you ready for you, so you're ready for next weekend? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I got the... Um, I got my Advil. I'm ready to go, and uh, my Tums. Your Advil. That's, that's so great. I got you a bottle of Motrin and uh, Midol. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah, I gotta. Oh man, I'm, I just wait for my photo order to come in, and then I'm all I'm all set. Yep, I and picked those up Friday. I, I picked them, I picked those up, and my T-shirts Friday. So oh, is one gonna be for me, right? Oh yeah, because I'll, I'll I'll let you wear it right next to the shirt you gave me. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I have to make more shirts. Once I get more shirts, I'll get. I'll make you. Yeah, he's gonna give me the bright orange one. <laughs> I look like a street, yeah, the bright orange. I look like a street cone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what was I gonna? I don't know. What was I gonna say? I mean, I mean, it should be a good show. It was three yeah. good, good, solid shows. Who's coming up next week? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um. You know what it is? Is that I'm excited about it. You know, I get a little anxiety as I normally do leading up to it. And uh, but it's the the WrestleCon show that I'm I'm so amped. Like my adrenaline's been going for like three weeks now. Um, you know, the, the 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 car ride down there. It's gonna be some sick uh, road trip. Uh, just oh, bringing tons of merch down there, and it's just gonna be a sick experience. And then. The drive home, hopefully, uh, we're driving home with nothing, you know, left, and um, yeah. yeah, I mean, hopefully I'm, you'll be driving home with with full pockets. Well, yeah, let's. I don't need to be pulled over and beat up on the side of the road for my pockets, but uh, yeah. <laughs> if, there's sure cha- if there's a Chase yeah. Manhattan Bank in Florida, I'll be uh, making a deposit before I leave. <laughs> Just make sure you have your paperwork with you. I got I got everything with me, dude. I got I I've been I've been like little freaking office central over here. I've been printing out all my PayPal receipts and I got a folder, put them all in alphabetical order and uh I extended pre sales yeah. twice. We ain't playing. Because uh they just keep piling in. I woke up this morning at ten o'clock this morning I woke up and we had four pre sales already in the box. So Yeah, pre I closed those pre sales for me this weekend and yeah. it was a tremendous it was a tremendous pre-sale you know, for the last four months. Yeah, so big, I, big I, event I closed uh, Valentine's Day. Um, well, first of all, I want to give the opportunity. Thank you to the fans that have pre-purchased all of their, their uh, autographs and photo ops with uh, all the talent that I have at big events. And we we appreciate the support. Absolutely. Uh, and it, was, it was probably probably the... I don't know if it's the best I've done pre-sale, but it's got to be awfully close to the best. Um, I mean, Russell, it's hard. I mean, WrestleCon, um, I, I did a, a, an asinine amount, um, and it's still going, and I, I can't. Uh, hundred thousand people going to be down there. I know. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. But I'm also. I exci- think you guys are going to do just fine at WrestleCon. Yeah, I think you know. We didn't need you to tell us that. Yeah. But thanks. <laughs> thanks. But we we got uh. We got a lot of killer guests lined up for the rest of this year, and uh, I'm very, very excited. Um, oh, excuse me. Very excited to release them one by one when those conventions come up. So. I'm yeah, I should should be interesting going forward the rest of the year. Here, you know, what's what's going to happen is you will know. I, I know you announced a couple of people for Legends of the Ring. I, yeah. I announced my. Uh, my my uh, first two guests last uh, what was it Thursday I believe yeah I I actually announced them for you on the show earlier oh did you thank yes. thank you very much you'll uh, by that time you'll both be uh, WWE Hall of Famers yes so 
Yes. It, it, I, had, it, it, I had to jump on that Teddy Long bandwagon before he got booked. Uh, the sick part is, um, I think one of the Doom pictures I printed out has Teddy Long in it. So that's another autograph opportunity you should have. Um, that is correct. From that pick, is at my table, that is absolutely pick correct. up that Doom photo, have it signed by both Ron and Butch, then bring that photo back to Legends of the Ring to RDP, and Teddy Long will sign it. Yep. That, that's, that's a... Those, that'll be a classic to get all three of those. That's Damn, I three, three signatures Damn, I and a photo a op for about a hundred bucks. That's not bad. So, uh, well, I, I couldn't find any Doom pictures with good quality, like good quality images to to print. I, I found a couple. Um, I had to a couple of them. I had to clear up with Photoshop, and uh, uh, but for the for the most part, we we got some really cool ones and. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's hard. Like I, you know, any of these guys at a pre-digital era, it's hard to get photos. Yeah, it's very, very extremely hard. But even for Ron Simmons, man, I, there's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff on Ron Simmons that wasn't wasn't really as much as I thought that there would be. Yep. I mean, well, there's you know, he had a lot of his gimmicky crap on there. Yeah, a lot of Nation of Domination. I mean, how many Nation of Domination photos could I have? Exactly, and. I try to stay away from that. I try to come, go with their regular, uh, you know, persona. Like I have a, uh, I have a picture of Butch Reed from back in uh, his pre WCW days. Um, I have one of him with WCW. I have one of him in WWE, uh, and then I have a bunch of Doom photos. And one of the ones I printed out from WWE is a WrestleMania. Um, uh, is it WrestleMania three or is it WrestleMania? Maybe it's oh it's WrestleMania four, the tournament in the first round. Butchery took on Coco Beware, um, and wow. it's, a, it's an advertisement. It says WrestleMania four across the top. It's got Butch Reed, and then it says verse, and it's got Coco Beware, which kind of works out good because they might have the opportunity to use that to get their free Coco Beware autograph when they buy the ticket. That's what I was just gonna say. You you took the words right out of my yeah. mouth. That's a that's a that's a rare thing that again. Another rare thing that Butch Reed and Coco Beware are, are in the same place. Yep, and then I got a nice photo of it. So yeah, if not, I'm gonna see if I can get one. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Exactly. I mean, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be chaos. Yep. Yes, and from what I've from what I've read online, this is this is they're pretty close to being nearly sold out. That's that's I like that. I like that. Uh, not that I, th- I think should ever be sold out because it's no, nothing should ever be sold out yeah. because if if I if I were anybody or running thing anything anything if, if there's a fan out there that's willing to come in with a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars and ready to spend money me guy I'd say come on in yeah you got a lot of men you know what I mean what are you gonna do absolutely, I mean absolutely but I think also the the way that big event has has drawn and I think they should do this idea. Yeah, with Chiller, Chiller too. Chiller would, once they reach the capacity, they'd have them wait outside, they'd and wait for the for the lines to peter out, and then add more people. If that's how people, you know, stay yeah. around, and that's how the convention lasts all day. Well, it's just like you know the dance clubs in the city. Five people come out, five people go in. That's absolutely. It so. should be. The, you know that's the that's the way it should be if it's over capacitated. But again, we've had no issues in the past. As the big event, we've easily had a thousand to fifteen hundred people stroll in at the same time. It's going it's going to be chaotic, going to be hectic. But it hopefully will be an extremely profitable weekend for all of us. Yep, absolutely. And um, oh, all right. I mean, yeah. I mean. Um, you can go ahead tell everybody besides Ron Simmons who will be at the RDP table at the RDP table at the big event and besides WWE Hall of Famer Ron Simmons you could also meet WWE Hall of Famer Mean Gene Okerlund as well as two beautiful women and former WWE Women's and Divas Champion in Molina and former TNA Knockout and Ring Announcer SoCal Val Val, for all the pricing Things if you don't know what the price is are for.